Good day, good day, everybody. Elba Jones here. Welcome back to the show. Glad you could stop on by and see what we're up to. Today's interview is with Syrian High Council. And I know that the Syrians have been a, well, they were a big deal about 10 years ago or so when they were nominated as allied with the Pleiadians and here to help us. Um, where they went since then, anybody's guess, except they're still here. We found one of them. And during my day-to-day -day exorcism work, I found one of the Syrians acting like a demon. And when I pushed him, he says, look, I'm doing this under orders. You've got to talk to the top bench. And so we immediately started talking with Syrian High Council. And it's a sad story, and it's a story that I think is all too common across the galaxy. Um, you know, I'm upset, but I'm not angry like I usually am. I think these guys were put between a rock and a hard place, but, you know, who really knows? Watch the interview and you'll start to see a picture of what's happening in our galaxy and what's in store for us, more of the point. Yeah, but as usual, the channel wants to keep their identity secret, so we're respecting that. Um, but I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Link, uh, put something in the comments. All right, love to you all. Enjoy the show. Hey. I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night? Yeah, make all the demons quiet. Yeah, we. Good day, good day. It seems like we're talking to the Syrians today. Is that the case? Yeah. And under what context do you hear, Mr. Sirius? Have you got a name that we can use? Haki. Okay, Haki. What context do we hear? I'm here to help her. Tell me about what that help looks like. I need to keep her in a low energy. She needs uh, to be off the she needs to be off the radar. To protect her from who? It's from somebody really powerful. And okay. I'm not allowed to say. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> and so the best way to keep her at a low energy is by siphoning that energy off yourself. Is that the case? Yeah. But I'm doing it's, it for her good. You just profit massively from the enterprise. Is that the case? Yes. But it's for her good. Yes. All right. Um, I'm protecting. Haki, Haki, I... I know that you Syrians have a really good reputation, but this particular inst in this particular instance, it's not deserved. But it's to serve her because I'm protecting her. From what? Her own life force? But that's the only way I could do it. But you don't have to do it. I don't think. Okay, so let me let me put it different. Let me put me differently. Let me put it differently. You're protecting her by keeping her poor, yes. and the way that you're keeping her poor is by garnishing her bank account. And she yes. she wasn't aware of it until today. She knew something wasn't right. So by your own words, you're saying that this isn't right. Yes. But it, it's for the good. It's not for the bad. 
<laughs> Who do you work for? I'm just getting the eye council. Oh, yeah, which one's that? It's a serious eye council. Seri serious A? Who's serious A? Yeah, sure. And what species walk on Sirius A? You're just showing me blue people. Okay. All right. So can you pass the phone to the Sirius High Council? Well, I don't, I don't really want to do that. Well, look, I want you to because what you're doing is monstrous. Now, either one of two things is happening. One is that you're operating under orders from a serious council. The serious council can explain this to me, or you're a rogue, in which case I'll destroy you. So do you want me to get angry with you, or should I raise this topic with the high council? You can raise the topic with the R Council. Okay, because so put them on, put them on the phone. Giving... Put them on the phone. Okay. Hello. How many of you are on the call? Three. What are your names? I don't really think you need to know our names. It's not. Ah, oh, come important. on. Play nice. Who am I talking to? I'm Jagger. Mm -hmm. And? I'll, I'll just give you my name because I'm speaking to you. It's a bit cagey of you, isn't it? Are the humans and the Syrian, aren't the earthlings and the Syrians supposed to be allies? Yeah, but we, we really have to be careful what we tell you. Why? Because it's not as straightforward as you think. Elucidate me. Tell me what's going we, on. We are actually doing this for the good. Yeah, look, what you're saying is the end justifies the means. Yeah. Which? She is one of ours. In what way is she one of yours? She she belongs to us. But yeah, no, you've got it. Well, I'm here because of a contract that that says you own her. Is that the case? Yeah. All right. She's okay with that. She knows about it. She she's she's fine right. with it. I'm asking you some questions. Please um, answer the ones that I'm asking. Okay. So what's so complex about Earthling and Syrian relations? We, we really want to help mankind, the mm -hmm. humans. We do. Okay. We, we don't want to be at war. We don't, we want to help. Is this what you call There's helping? A lot of things. There's a lot of things that we don't agree with, though, that we, we're finding it hard to agree on. Who were you allied with on Earth, apparently? Not a trick question. No. 
but we have to be very careful. You know who I am, right? Yeah. You've heard my name before? Yeah. You've seen my work, right? Yeah. And if I said to you that you have to be very careful around me, don't you think that's true? Yeah. So then tell me what I want to know. Don't piss me off. Don't play hide I'll and seek you. in words. Um, no, no I'll just no you. more. Okay. What do you I'm want just... to know? What do you want to know? Who owns the earth? Who's the primary? Who owns... Who's the primary Who claimant? But the prime, yeah. Gaia, she owns the earth. So it's earth, earth. Yep, yeah. and who owns all of the people? Different fractions, different, different fractions. And which factions are you in contact with? Who are you working with? Right the only reason, we're only working with them because we're working to help. I'm not going to ask you to define the word help at this point. I just want to know who you're working with. Is it the reptilians? Yeah. But the good ones. There are some that's good a, ones. That's a load that's just no. It's kind of like saying sometimes the slave owners are nice. Right? It's a it's a non sequitur. But and these ones bi really want to help. Their biology, their biology doesn't allow it. Yeah, you know, their biology does not allow them to be nice. The common stories that you tell everybody else, all of the other humans, they don't wash with me. That's why you've heard my name before. I'm not here to listen to the lullaby that you sing us earthlings to sleep with. So are you a junior or a senior partner in this connection with the reptilians? I'm a junior, junior, junior. Junior, yeah. And is um and are the rep are the reptilian subjects of the great nothing? Yes. Are you also subjects of the great nothing? Yes. So effectively, I'm talking to a black stone right now. Yes. Do we have a name for that black stone on Earth? It's a stone of the abyss. Yeah, that's a good word for it. But there's a, a personality in there, and the Christians know him by a very specific name. Would you like to repeat that name for me? No. You don't want to. No. But that black stone is what's ruling the earth. Is that right? Yeah. And he's the one who gave you 
what's called a mining rights on the earthlings. Yes. What happened to the Syrians? How did that tell me the story of how you what happened between you and the Black Stone? The Black Stone was too powerful for us. We couldn't match it. We had no choice but to go with it. What did go with powerful. it? What did go with it look like? But that mean we just had to, we had to surrender. And then what did the Black Stone do once you surrendered? It's controlled us. It's nothing we can do. What's the apparatus that it used? He used a powerful... crystalline structure but it was dark and once we were in it we couldn't break free from it it's something we've never experienced before a mental trap of un unbridled power of unparalleled power yeah you're watching what's going on on earth yeah. Is the same thing happening? Yeah. What do you call it here on Earth? It's just the trap. It's just... We don't even know the name for it. It just absolutely comes in and it's so powerful. And because it's technology and, and energy we've never had to deal with before. You didn't have an we, answer to it. We didn't know what to do. Are the earthlings falling into the same trap as you are, as you did? Most of them, but we believe there is hope for Earth. How many, what percentage of Earth do you think is going to not fall in the trap? 30. Better than I thought. And we heard from... Mm-hmm. We go for more. What else can you tell me about this situation? Well, we're watching Earth with the hope that we can learn from Earth and we can do the same and break free. You've been watching what our team does, haven't you? Yeah. It's our idea that we can show up on various planets and help with that. Yeah. But the best thing we need you can... Help. Yeah, I know. I know you do. The best thing you can do right now is give us all of the intel we can handle. Yeah. What do we need to know? You need to get, from what we've worked out, you need to get, there's a, a crystal, black crystal pyramid mm -hmm. in the ground, in the ground, which is buried, really cold. Buried somewhere. Sorry? Buried somewhere. It's... 
Afghanistan. There's a black crystal pyramid in the ground, which is really powerful and was put there for the best intentions, but it's been our job. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Afghanistan's a tricky place at the moment. Like you yeah. can't be you can't be white in Afghanistan. It's just not okay. Uh, That's where it is. That's where you'll find it. And what should we do with this? Should we go hot? Should we capture it? You need to get it back. Back to where? It needs to be brought brought back. Back back. Onto Earth. Onto the as surface. There's a structure. My inclination is to launch this thing into the sun. Yeah. Yeah. Because this thing, this intelligence has subsumed thousands of worlds, as far as I can tell. Powerful. Now, I don't blame you and I'm not hostile to you and I'm not upset, even though you are behaving like our enemy. I actually believe you are more like the zombies of our real enemy. Yeah. And now you are serving a master who you fought, who destroyed your entire culture. Yeah. We need it back. But we don't know what to do. Is there one of these objects on your planet? We can't find anything. We're not allowed to really look because they're aware. We're stuck. My real question is, does humanity have any friends amongst the stars? I think lots of planets want to be your friends, but they're afraid. And like lots of planets, they're, they're putting themselves first. They're looking after themselves first. They want to help, but they're looking after themselves. So there's will, but there's no resources. Yeah. Of all of the species that are here now, who would we call our friends? Are the Pleiadians like you? Yeah, some, some, a, not everybody's bad. They're not. And there's a lot that they're scared and they're just doing what they can to survive. But there is, there is people beyond that, like energy beyond that that's really good that's trying to come in. So because our galaxy is at war, because our galaxy has been invaded by this great nothing that's subsumed countless worlds, yeah. absorbed countless worlds, I think everybody's behaving a bit strangely. I think everybody's... Yeah. And I actually think everybody's trying to hide from this thing. Yeah. It needs to be stopped. How many planets have resisted the invasion of the great nothing? The only, I know of 17, but there's probably more, but that's just what I know of. 
but out of thousands, it's just a handful. Yeah. How do we reach them? How do we contact them? It's so really hard because those that have managed to escape it and avoid it, they're very far, far, far away. Yeah. I can see one in the next galaxy is in a different galaxy. That planet's in a different galaxy. Yeah. We believe it can be stopped, though. Well, there's 17 examples of it by your yeah. own word. And how far away is is uh, the Black Stone from completing its task from its end game? How far away? It's got 40% to go. Yeah, we'll see how much further they advance. All right. Is there anything else that you want to tell me? No. I'm going to make Just the kind... The pyramid. Find the pyramid. I'm going to make the kind request that you release this girl. From all contracts, and uh, have no further contact with her. Okay. Good luck to you, Sirius. Good we luck to might, you. Too. We just might meet again. Yeah, better circumstances, eh? It is what it is. Mhm. Mm bye for now. Bye bye. What would you think of that one? Oh, my God. Yeah. You see what we're facing? It's a big, big deal. Do you think that, do you think that he was being real? Do you think what he was saying was correct or do you think it was manipulation? It felt real. I don't even know where that was coming from, Alivar. That was weird. It was coming from halfway across the galaxy, that conversation. <laughs> that was yeah, weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the party. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, um, how do you feel about me having recorded this? Is it okay if I release it? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Do you, do you want your face on it or not, your face and your name? Do you want me to delete no. that? Yeah, right. don't put my face on. <laughs> no, okay, no, but I'll, no, that's fine, that's fine. I'll delete that then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Oh, my God, Alba. Hey! I think that we've all had enough. What keeps you up at night, yeah? Make all the demons quiet, yeah We were built to thrive, yeah